Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today we're looking at a Whirlpool and I have the matching dryer to this. They have this, basically they, well, they have problems. The dryer basically does not come on at all. There's no action, no lights, nothing. And so I've checked the thermo fuse, checked the power, and we have good power. Uh, it's actually a gas dryer. But this is a washing machine. And if we take a look, it's got some sort of, it basically, it's got some sort of problem. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, it will not go into the spin cycle, I can tell you that much. And so if we look at this, we look at this barrel. This barrel looks too loose to me. This is not, doesn't seem to be normal action here. It wouldn't, wouldn't seem to me that this barrel is connected correctly. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to take this agitator off and this, this, this bottom piece here off and take a look at it. This bottom piece seems to be on there okay. In order to take this top piece off, there's some uh, sort of little openings right here. You take two flathead screwdrivers on each side and push in and that thing will pop up. And then we can take a look inside there and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the online manual for this machine. This top part here, this ice cream cone looking thing, that's called a dome. And so these little tabs you have to push in to make them, make that come off. You to hit two of them on the side and then start that and then hit the next one and pull it off that way. Uh, this part here is the part that I, I can't seem to figure out how to get off and it doesn't say anything about it here so this is this thing here apparently is called the inner wash plate which really doesn't look like a plate at all looks more like a cone but anyway and it's got some spline things here on the top that may have to have a special tool to pull off but meanwhile that thing kind of flops around like a u-joint for that this uh, outer wash plate to mount to. So, we actually have this blow up diagram a little bit different. This wash plate should be here in the middle rather than down here because it can't, it goes on top of this, doesn't go below it. And they don't show the part that, that, uh, that was broken that, that I saw that I found on the bottom of the of the uh, wash plate here uh, below the wash plate on the tub so this might be a tricky fix here yeah that's the problem